Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Okay, people, welcome one more time. We are going to start today. Mm. Okay, tonight when I take the attendance, I want you to answer one question, one question. What was your favorite uh, Now, let me see something. Who was your first grade teacher? I want I want you to remember this. I have this question for you to practice. Who was your first grade teacher? Please think about that. I remember my first grade teacher. My first grade teacher is was Mrs. I just remember the name, the last names now. My first grade teacher was Miss Paz Clavel. That was her last name. And um, I studied in Escuela Parroquial Santa Ana in San Barrio Santa Anita in San Salvador. And my first grade teacher was Miss uh, Claribel, I think it was her name. Miss Claribel de la Paz Palacios. Yes, that was her name. So what about you? Who was your first grade teacher? Okay, I want you to respond that. So you say present. And you tell, you speak about your first grade teacher. Alejandra Vanessa Mora is here now. Not yet. Anadelmi Herrera Morales. 
Ajet. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Hi, Ana Marisol. Hello. So, who was your first grade teacher? I don't remember teacher. I remember um was my first the name Beatriz. Beatriz. The last name I I forget. Really? You are very young and you don't remember your first grade teacher? Yeah. <laughs> I okay. And what was I, this what was the I school? Didn't, uh, I didn't pay attention uh, attention uh, for the name. <laughs> oh. Um it was great. No, but what was the school? It was good. No, but I'm not asking if it was good or no. I don't asking how it was. I'm asking uh, what was. Ah, uh, what was the um, school? Do you remember the name of the school? <laughs> no. I forgot. Um, this no. The name. Okay, okay. Sorry, Okay, let's see. Angel Alexander Guardado is here now. Yeah, he's coming. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Present teacher. Hi, uh, Angel. I'm asking a question now. Okay, the question is, who was your first grade teacher? You remember? Angel. Ah, come on. Okay. Okay. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Hi, Caroline. Do you remember who was your first grade teacher? Great teacher, perdón. No, no recuerdo. No, your first teacher in school. Ah, teacher in school. First grade. Um, yes. Um, uh, teacher. Uh, uh, Físico, matemática, no recuerdo cómo se dice. In first grade? I'm asking who was your first grade teacher? So, when you were seven years old, or six or seven years old, your first grade teacher. Know what I mean? First grade. First grade. Ah. Um, First grade. I remember. Yo era tremenda y me castigaba. No, 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 no sé cómo decir. Era tremenda. Yeah, but you remember the, the name of. Of your first grade teacher? Era this grade, tercer grado. Yeah, but my question is, who was your first, first grade teacher? Uh, see the... 
ella, de ella recuerdo que fue un buena maestra, pero, pero yo era tremenda y me castigaba. But you don't remember the name. Eh, se llamaba um, sí, sí, Esther de Saldívar. Okay, but I need a sentence. Let's practice your English. My first great teacher was Miss uh, Saldívar. Okay, can you repeat okay. that sentence? Can you say that, please? Uh, my my first great my first teacher great teacher was uh, was his name uh, miss esther saldivar okay my first great teacher was miss esther saldivar okay. okay okay good so i want you to use sentences please to speak okay very good Claudia, Claudia Guadalupe, Arias. Who was my your first teacher. great teacher, Claudia? My first teacher uh, was your name is uh, Elsie Maria. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to write in the chat the sentence to respond this question my okay. first grade teacher was teacher. yeah and you give me the name of your teacher for example well, let me my first grade teacher was uh, mrs Paz. Clavel. This is my answer, my case. My first grade teacher was Mrs. Paz Clavel. Okay, give me a sentence, please. Okay, Claudia Yvette Samayoa. Claudia Yvette Samayoa, not here. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. I'm here, teacher. Hi, Xiomara. Who was your first great teacher? Ah, my first great teacher was Miss Guadalupe Hernandez. Uh, when I studied the first grade, ah, yes. I, I was studied in Complejo Educativo General Rafael Osorio Hijo. Okay. I will, I will never forget that she gave the charamusca and one bread when I finished my the syllable. Ah, the 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 alphabet. Yes. Or the book. The book. Ah, the book. Ah, okay. She, 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 she always. Uh, she give the premio teacher uh on award yeah for, for finish right. the syllabus okay yeah very good very good thanks okay irma de los angeles flores where is Present irma teacher. good evening good evening irma uh, so Irma, who was your first great teacher? Um, my first great teacher was this Mrs. Cecilia Rivera. Ah, it was a good teacher? Yes, good. Ah, okay, very good. Jessica Rosemary. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo, not here. Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. And who was your first great teacher, Joanna? 
the name I don't remember, but I had a great teacher in my preparatory. Oh, when really? I was yes, when I was childhood. When I was you know, when I was a child. When I was a child. Mm -hmm. Oh, in, in preschool. She was, you see, she was a good teacher because when I when I arrived to the school, always I iba llorando. Ah. Because I don't because I didn't like the, the school. So ah. my teacher accustomed to sit down in the desk. Ah, okay, very good, nice memory. Thank you, Karina Melissa Estrada. Karina Melissa, not here. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Hi, Linda. Who was your first grade teacher? I don't remember the name of my first grade teacher, but I remember that she was very sweet and a nice teacher. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Good evening, teacher. Good Present. evening, Mayra. Are you at work? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you remember who was your first grade teacher? Yeah, my first teacher was Jonathan Rios. Ah, oh, boy, a man. Okay. Yeah. He was a good teacher? Yeah, He's, uh, he was a good teacher. Excellent. Very good. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present, present teacher. Hi, Miguel Angel. Do you remember who was your first grade teacher? Yes, uh, my first grade teacher was uh, uh, Mrs. Lolita Pacheco. Ah, was she a good teacher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. excellent. Excellent, okay, very good. Nelson Ivan Alfaro is here, not yet. Uh, Olga Marleni Gomez. Good evening, present. Good evening, Olga. What about your first grade teacher? Who was your first grade teacher? My first grade teacher. Oh. Yeah. Yes, first grade. I remember I was I I were in sixth grade. My teacher was Herbert Rodriguez and he he, he was very very patient. Patient. Ah. Yeah. You were terrible. <laughs> uh -huh. Not not so much. <laughs> not so much. Okay, okay. But if you remember that he was patient, hmm, <laughs> there must be some reason for that. Okay. Um Senaida America Dominguez. Uh, I don't remember who is my first teacher grade, but I remember I was a very, very nice uh, English teacher in the, how do you say secundaria? Secundaria, you mean junior high? Junior high. Uh -huh. uh, seventh name, grade? Yeah, yes, seventh grade. 
and he he had he was a um, funny teacher because ah. the because the class is very cool. Ah, okay, okay, very good, excellent. Now, Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Listen, teacher. Hi, Silvia. You remember who was your first great teacher? Uh, yes, I. My first great teacher was Miss Silvia. Only ah. Silvia. Ah. <laughs> wow, was she a good and teacher? I remember. She she was very sweet with me. Ah, okay. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Um Silvio Enrique Cortez. Good night. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Silvio. Do you remember who was your first great teacher? No, teacher, I, I don't remember the name. It's, it's, but I remember the sex, sixth grade uh, uh, Oscar. Oscar is, he was a very good teacher for me. Ah, okay. Okay, very good, very good. Carlos Alberto Melendez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Do you remember who was your first great teacher? Yes. Um, my first uh, great teacher is Ines. Um, I remember this um, great uh, teacher. Um, so, so hungry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A little angry. Ah, okay, good. And Carla Veronica Suria. Present teacher. Hi, Carla. Do you remember who was your first grade teacher? Um, my Never. first teacher was Lino E. Gonzalez. Mm. He was an excellent teacher. And very, very strict. strict ah, ah, okay, okay. Well, was a good teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah, remember when we use the verb be in the past, we use was and or were, right? Up. So, so my first grade teacher was, uh, my first school was. Okay, I was seven years old when I was in first grade. So, was is the past form of am in, for the verb be. Okay, just to practice a little bit. Tonight, we're going to start with unit two in our material. So, let me share the screen. Let me go. And we have tonight's objective. Okay. Tonight's objective says you will be able to tell companies locations using there is and there are. You will be able to talk about companies locations using there is and there are. Now we have a couple of questions here to talk about. What places are there in your workplace? And how many meeting rooms do exist in your company? Oh, okay. So if we talk about your workplace, the place where you work, what are the different places or the different areas in your workplace. Tell me, what areas can you mention in your workplace? 
In my workplace, we have um, many areas because it's very big, the hotel. Ah. For ah, example, ah. I work in food and beverage. It's very, very dry, and, but the delicious. Ah, okay. We have other department, uh, uh, constable, reception, uh -huh. um, um, security. Okay. Uh, how do you say uh, empresa de tour? Empresa de tour. Ajá, uh -huh, eh, área de tours. Uh, tours area or... Uh, ok, tours uh, area. And... Mm -hmm. um, how do you say department, the housekeeping? Yeah, uh, you said housekeeping, and, housekeeping yes, department. And others area. Ah, okay. Uh, Okay, perfect, very good. A big hotel. Okay, what other places are are there in a company? Teacher. Uh huh. And my company is in the bank. Okay. It's in the branch. Uh huh. Place the. Customer service. Okay. And sales. Sales, okay. Sales. And what do you say? Cajas or no sé cómo se dice. The cashiers. Cashiers. Mm -hmm. The cashiers. Ah, yes. Uh, Co-managers and yeah. managers. Okay. The branch, yes. Very good. Uh huh. Someone else? For example, in a, in a factory, what places can you find in a factory? Quality department. Okay. Maintenance. Uh huh. Um, accounting. Yes. And case and production. Department production. Production. And storage. Storage. Okay. Okay. Very good. So something like that. We'll be talking about something like that in tonight's class. Meeting rooms do exist in your company. Are there meeting rooms in your company? No. I I remember some factories have meeting rooms. Uh, yes, uh, I, I have three meeting rooms. Three meeting rooms, okay. What company is, Carlos? Abbey Corp Group. Okay. Teacher, what does mean meeting room? Meeting rooms. Somebody can can tell that what is the meaning of meeting rooms uh -huh. Salas de reuniones. Ah, okay, okay. yes thank you. yes thank, thank you okay so many companies have meeting rooms okay okay good well let's take a look to the conversation We have this conversation and so if you want. Nice. I'm awesome. I work for me. There is an office. We're growing. There are few. Work for eco. The paintings in the country. That's great. I visited. There. there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa. Okay. Pronunciation. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not too many branches. There are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay. Now please repeat after me. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. I oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Oh, oh I, know I know that, that company. company. There, there is, is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. Yes, there are few. What company do you work for? There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. I work for Eco, I work for Eco company. The company. The company. There are 25 branches in the country. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. That's, That's great. great. I visited one of the stores the other day. The other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. Yeah, yeah. yeah there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. We are, we are planning, planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. 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 There isn't one yet. There isn't one yet. Okay. Any question with the conversation? I have a question, teacher. Uh huh. What does it mean yet? Yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who knows what is the meaning of jet here? Aún todavía. Exactly. Aún or todavía. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, there isn't one yet. Okay, any other question? Where is... Uh, sorry, uh, where is uh, growing? Growing. We're growing. What is growing? No? Creciendo. Creciendo. Yeah, crecer, creciendo, creciendo ¿verdad? Sí. Grow, crecer, growing, creciendo. Muy bien. We're growing. Any other question? Where is launching? Ah, launching. Anybody knows what is the meaning of launching? Como lanzar. Lanzar. Lanzamiento. Lanzamiento. Ok. ¿Verdad? Eh, en el sentido de arrancar algo nuevo, iniciar algo nuevo, ¿verdad? We are planning on launching. Es como inaugurar. ¿No? One in Santa Ana these days. So, esa, ese inicio, ese lanzamiento. 
Esa es la palabra launching. Es una palabra que también se usa cuando se habla de los cohetes que se envían al espacio, ¿no? Eso es un, un launching también. ¿Verdad? Un lanzamiento. Ok. Now, there are three uh, statements here that you have to complete with is or are. Um, with is or are. But first I will send you to work in pairs to practice the conversation. Okay, two, three times, practice, practice, practice. And then please complete exercise three. Okay, the, according to the sentences in the, in the conversation. Observe these, these structures, there is, there are. There are few, there are 25 branches, there are six in San Salvador, there isn't one yet. According to this, please complete these sentences, okay? Good. So let me form the couples to send you to work in pairs. Ah, ¿quién está como oyente? Ángel, bueno, pero luego vamos. Mi teacher. Ah, en Mayra. Bueno, entonces, uh, nine. Oh, ok. Six groups. No, seven groups. Let's see. Uh, give me a moment. I need to make sure the ones who are. Uh -huh, uh, Ok. ¿Quién más me dijo que anda en el bus? Ana Delmi. Ahí está bien. Ok. Go to your groups, please. Practice the conversation and complete the exercise three.
We finish. Okay, welcome back. I would like to hear some of you uh, practicing the conversation, okay? Teacher. Yes? Solo una consulta. Creo que en la conversation hay una parte de... Creo que está como cortada. O sea, no como cortada, pero creo que pertenece como a Tom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sí. dice, bueno, vamos a. Oh, sorry. Ajá, es que ahí, bueno, yo la tomé como Tom. Yo también, pero luego. It's Orson. Awesome. Sí, It's Orson. Awesome. Uh -huh. Tom, Orson. 25, queda en, there are 25 branches in the country. Y luego Orson contesta, that's great. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, Orson sí. contesta, that's great. I visited one of the stories the other day. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's awesome. Right. Ok. Sí, eso. Perfecto. Ok, let's start with um, group number one. Carlos and Carolina. Please. Uh, the conversation? Yeah, the conversation. Oh, please. Please, Tom, nice to meet you. I don't know. So, Tom, did you work for? for our 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in the San Salvador. Where are blaming of launching one in Santa Ana these days? There isn't one jet. Okay, okay, thank you. Now, group number three, Zenaida and Silvio. I am Tom. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hodgie. Oh, I know that company. There is an San, there is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting painting company. There are 20, 
five branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning or launching one in Santa Ana these days. There is not one yet. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, please. Uh, Linda here. Karina and Linda. Uh, teacher, in my case, I stay alone. No estaba mi pareja. Oh, really? Yes. What happened? Linda? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Sorry, se me desconectó la, la laptop. Uh -huh. Tenía oh. problemas con la señal, entonces era bien inestable. Oh, I'm sorry. But can you practice the conversation here? Yes, teacher. Okay. And you, Linda? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, go ahead. Okay. Who starts? Karina, you're first. Okay. Okay, I'm start. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm also, I work for Hot Hot Jet. Oh, I don't know that company. There is an office in San Salvador. Don't you? Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for ACO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now, please, Claudia and Olga. Okay, teacher. Olga? Yeah. Okay, I am Tom. Yes. Okay. My, My name. name is. Ah, pardon. <laughs> you start. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many ranches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There is 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visit, I visit, I visited all one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santana this, this day. There isn't one yet. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Well, I'm going to take the second attendance. So please, cameras. On and respond saying present. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Delmi Herrera. Ana Delmi Herrera. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Ángel. Ok. Eh, Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Ok. Claudia Ibet Samayoa. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Thank you. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Ok. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Good. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Ok. Linda Stephanie Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present. Good. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Present. Good. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present teacher. Good. Tonight, America Dominguez. Present teacher. Perfect. Uh, Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia Enrique Cortez. Present. Good. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. And Carla Veronica Suria. Present. Okay, very good. Okay. Let's continue with the grammar topic tonight. We are going to study how to use, well, it is actually it's a review as well. So es algo que ya vieron. Ah, bueno, teníamos acá estas oraciones, ¿no? Uh, what is the correct form in number one? There is or there are? There are. There, there, are. Are. there are. There are three offices in San Salvador, correct. Number two, there is or there, there are? Is. There, there, is. Is. there is. There is one store in Soyapango. And number three, there is or there, there are? are. Not. There are. There are, there not. are not. There are not any offices in this region yet. Okay, perfect. So you know how to use this. To state that something exists. We use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. And not before or not after B to create the negative form. Okay, singular, there is. There is one office in San Salvador. Negative form, there is not. There is not a store in the city. Plural, there are. There are three distribution centers in Ilopango. Plural negative, there are not. There are not many places to have a meeting. Okay. Let's practice, repeat please. Uh, repeat. There is one office in San Salvador. There is one office in San Salvador. There is not a store in the city. There is not a store in the city. There are three distribution centers in Ilopango. There are three distribution centers in Ilopango. 
There are not many places to have a meeting. There are not many places to have a meeting. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, let me show you a little bit more about this. Let's Michelle, go. Yes? I have a question. Ahí donde usted dijo, in the in the city, o sea, que ahí está, le falta en la, en la oración. Sí, sí, ahí hay que agregarle ese in. Vale. No, 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 no. Ok, ¿dónde está? Acá está. Ok, esto quiero que veamos este cuadrito. Bien, vamos a enfocarnos en la primera parte hoy, que es el affirmative y negative. Okay, in this part. Tomorrow we are going to study the questions. Okay. Enfoquémonos acá. De nuevo, lo mismo, ¿no? Parece lo que acabamos de mencionar. Meaning, meaning of the reasons mm -hmm. that are, say that something exists or doesn't exist. Okay. And there then, is, singular. Uh -huh. There are plural. There is with uncountable nouns. Okay. Okay. Examples. There is a book on the desk. There are books on the desk. Plural. And uh, with uncountable nouns, we use always singular verb, there is. There is some milk in the fridge. Then the negative form, there isn't for singular nouns, there aren't for plural nouns, and there isn't for uncountable nouns. There isn't a pen on the table. There aren't any pens here. There isn't any juice in the fridge. Okay. And also observe the contractions. These contractions. Yeah. There's is the contraction for there is. There's not, for there is not. Or there isn't, for there is not. There aren't, for there are not. Okay, we can use these contractions. All right. Any question with this chart? Affirmative, negative, and contractions. Okay, it's uh, clear. Mister, Hola. Excuse me. Uh, could you mean and uh, repeat one more time, please? Sure. So we have here that we are going to use there is with singular nouns. Okay. There is with singular nouns. And there are with plural nouns. Examples, there is a book on the desk, singular, a book. With plural, we use there are. There are books on the desk. And we also use there is with uncountable nouns. Remember that uncountable nouns Son de nombres de objetos o cosas que no son contabilizables. Que no las podemos contar, no, no tienen plural. Ok. Por ejemplo, milk, water, oil, money. Son nombres sustantivos no contables. No tienen plural. Entonces, con uncountable nouns, we are going to use singular verbs like is. 
there is some milk in the fridge. Then the negative form. We use isn't. Solo vamos a agregar not después del verbo to be, ¿verdad? There isn't más singular noun. Ejemplo, there isn't a pen on the table. Singular. There aren't con plural nouns. There aren't any pens here. Plural. Y lo mismo con uncountable nouns. There isn't plus uncountable noun. Ejemplo, there isn't any juice in the fridge. Son affirmative form and negative form of there is and there are. And then the contractions. The contraction for there is, there's. The contraction for there is not, we have two. There's not or there isn't. And the contraction for there are not is there aren't. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Any question, people? Bueno, déjenme y les coloco esta imagen ahí en el WhatsApp. Okay. Now, let me give you a couple of exercises. First, this one. Ah, bien, déjenme compartir pantalla para mostrarles este ejercicio para practicar. Okay, here. Observe this picture. Ya les voy a compartir esto ahí en el WhatsApp. Observe these pictures. Okay, we have two pictures here. Picture A and picture B. ¿Verdad? Observen las dos imágenes. Y de acuerdo a las dos imágenes, van a completar estas oraciones. For example, we are going to use there is, there are, there isn't, or there aren't any. Now there aren't any. Okay. For example, number one, this is there is a car on the road in picture A. There is a car on the road in picture A. Veamos si es cierto. Bueno, si acá está. There is a car on the road in picture A. C. Number two. There isn't a car on the road in picture B. Picture B, no hay un car. Entonces, there isn't a car on the road in picture B. Y así con las demás. ¿ve? Van a poner there is, there isn't, there are, or there aren't any. En este ejercicio. Ok. ¿Me explico lo que van a hacer? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Entonces, déjenme compartir también esta imagen ahí en el WhatsApp para que la trabajen. In your groups. Sure. There you are. And let's go back to the groups. Okay, perfect. Okay, go to your groups. I'll give you 10 minutes to complete this exercise, okay? See you okay, in a moment. Hola. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Oh.
finish teacher. Okay, very fast. Very good. See you. Finish teacher. Okay, perfect. Finish. What's too easy? Too easy. Holy. Welcome back, welcome back. Now, let's see, let's check your work. Um, hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, uh, Sylvia, can you read me the sentence number three from the exercise? Sylvia. Excuse me, teacher. Can you read sentence number three, please? In the exercise. Okay. Uh, Sylvia. There is a big tree in picture A. Yes, perfect. Um, now, uh, Silvio, can you read sentence number four, please? Okay. There are two big trees in picture B. Yes, perfect. Uh, uh, Irma, sentence number five. Uh, there is Joe Boy a picture A. There is a jump. Okay, good. Uh, now, Joanna, sentence number six. The teacher. Mm, it is a young girl in picture B. Okay, good. Miguel Angel, sentence number seven. Uh, number seven, there are. Okay, read the complete sentence, please. Okay. There are three butterflies in picture A. Yes, thank you. Alejandra, right. sentence number eight. Hello, teacher. Um, the Amoseria. Um, there, there aren't in picture. Upper, there aren't balloons in picture. Number eight. Number eight. I, I, perdón. Two, ah, number eight is there are two butterflies in picture B. Mm, there are two. Yeah, okay, you're right. Thank you. Now, Ana Marisol, sentence number nine. Okay, teacher. There, 
there are balloons in picture A. Um, okay, but it's better if you say there aren't any. Oh, and uh -huh. okay. there aren't any balloons in picture A. Okay, perfect. Oh, let's continue with Hilda, number, 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 number 10. 10. There are many balloons in picture B. Ah, okay, very good, very good. And uh, oh, now. Senaida, 11. 11, there isn't a house in the picture. Okay, in picture A. Perfect. And uh, Carla Veronica, number 12. Carla Veronica. Yes, teacher. Number 12, please. There is a house in picture B. Okay, very good, very good. Now, any question, people? No, right, so this is easy five exercises for five sentences in in the book on exercise five and the instructions are read the sentences find the mistake and correct it so in these five sentences there are some mistakes some errors Okay, so you have to find the error and correct the error. Okay? So please do it right now. And we are going to check. There are two branches in El Salvador. Ah, uh -huh. Okay, let's give some time to finish. I'll give you two, three minutes to finish this. And we are going to check, okay? Yes. Finished. 
finished, teacher. Okay. Finish. Finish, teacher. Finish. Okay, so Carlos, what is the mistake in sentence number one? Carlos? Hello? What is the mistake in sentence number one? Uh, the mistake is... Is. Is. Uh, Correct. What there is the are, correct form? There are two branches in El Salvador. Okay, very good. There are. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, pass the ball to another student. Uh, Carla Veronica. Carla Veronica. Yes. Number two, what is the mistake in number two? Is. Yeah, is. but I'm sorry. R. 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 And the fourth correct is there is one Paris facilities available. Uh. I don't think so. Because you say there is one facilities. Facilities is plural. Mm -hmm. It's correct. R is not the mistake. Okay. There are one facilities. No. There are facilities facilities available. Ah, so what is the mistake? One. 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 Ah, one is the mistake. <clears throat> you, we can we could say there are facilities available. Ah, o podemos agregarle algo ahí. ¿Qué le pudiéramos agregar? Um. Ah, pudiera ser there are some. Uh -huh. There are many. Maybe. Ah, podemos agregarle ahí varias cosas, ¿verdad? O oh, un número en particular, si tenemos. There are three. También pudiera ser. Ok, muy bien. Now, okay, uh, ¿quién me contestó? Silvio, ¿verdad? O Miguel, ¿quién fue? Sí, yo, yo, yo. Pero ¿quién es yo? Silvio. Silvio, okay. Silvio. Silvio, pass the ball, Silvio, to another student. Um, Alejandra. Alejandra. What is the mistake in number three, Alejandra? Number three is there, there are a new office. Ajá, veamos, si solo lo dejamos, there are, there are a new offices, is that correct? No, teacher. Uh, no. There are new office. Ah, entonces también new habría new. que quitar... Is hey. offices plural or <laughs> there are new office. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Offices is, is, is singular, but offices plural, 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 plural. plural. Uh -huh. 
perdón. Uh -huh. Entonces, there si are vamos the a... new office. Si lo dejamos there are, ¿qué más hay que quitar? A. Hey. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. A few. There are new offices. Ok. Incluso podríamos... Ah, es que hay varias formas de corregir esto también. Depende de donde quieran poner el error. Podríamos decir, there are, all, there are some offices. También, there are many offices. Si lo corregimos ahí. O, y será más fácil corregir el offices. Y solo dejar office. En singular. Era otra manera de corregirlo. There is a new office. Sería there is. is. Mm -hmm. ah, otra manera de corregirlo, ¿verdad? There is a new office. También. Sin agregarle mucho. Ok. <clears throat> Good. Hey, Alejandra, pass the ball. Alejandra. Hello, teacher. Pass the ball to another student. Um, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Bueno, con él empezamos, pero démosle. O, o, o voy a buscar a otro. Sí, participo. Ah. Vaya pues. Sería um, a Yamilet, Carolina. Ok. Number four. ¿Cómo queda? There are not material to work. Ah, ok. Very good. Entonces, lo correcto es there are not materials. There are not materials to work. Correct. Pass the ball, Caroline. Okay. Uh, Hilda Xiomara. Hilda Xiomara, number five. What is the mistake? There are in three books. Uh, entonces... There are in... Ah, the okay. mistake is there is. Okay. And the correct is the there correct are. is there are. Perfect. There are not three boxes in the lobby. Okay. Very good. Now the next activity is that you are going to write um well here they say a conversation, but I want you to write a short paragraph about your company, your company or your office, okay? Describing what is there in your company or in your office. And write minimum, I want you to write minimum five sentences. Five sentences. You can tell things that are there in your office and things that are not in your office. For example, there is a reception area or there isn't a reception area. Okay, so in my in my company there is a storage room or in my company there isn't a storage room so i want you to write three affirmative sentences about things that there are in your company and two negative sentences about things that there are not in your company okay Okay, I will give you what, five minutes to, to, to do that. Right, a short paragraph about your company, your office, your workplace. Three affirmative and two negative. 
Go ahead. Right. Okay, lo que hay y lo que no hay. Hi, Claudia and Caroline. Hi. Hi. Okay. Talk about our youth. About the company. Um, in my company, um, not, uh, uh, not, uh, Co uh, uh, como es meeting meeting room no no teacher I... teacher es en pareja yes. joven no 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 teacher. individually ah individual bueno yes okay. ah es que estábamos creyendo que no había mucho grupo no 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 uh, right about your workplace ah okay Ya casi termina la noche. Silvia. Hello. Hello. Sorry, teacher, que no veía nada en la pantalla. No. Oh. When you finish, please raise your virtual hand like this. Okay.
I Finish. Raise your virtual hand to show me that you finished. By the way, tonight's uh, personal session is with Claudia Guadalupe. Okay, teacher. Okay, please. Esa manita levantada está donde dice reacciones. Los que están en, un, en el teléfono encuentran eso en los tres puntitos que están abajo a la derecha. Ok, ya, bueno, la mitad ya terminó. So, I will send you to working groups to read your descriptions, ok? You are going to read your descriptions in your groups. Ahí se turnan y cada quien va describiendo su workplace. Ok, let's create new groups. We have...
Okay, go to your groups, please, and talk about your companies or your workplaces. Santa Ana City and three branches in Santa Ana. There is a branch in Sonsonate. Right now there are six branches in total, but there are there isn't any in San Salvador. In my company, there are 10 years the history. There are branches in the Sun Oriental. Okay. Eh, no sé si los compañeros ya terminaron. ¿El qué? Hoy va Silvio Mayra. En mi, en mi case, uh, there are many computers in my in my office. There is the they isn't a, a a copy a coffee shop. There aren't any branches in the country. Um, there are some bathrooms. There are no books. There. Sing it, sing ah. There are no books. There are no books. It's incorrect. A uh, books. Ah, ah, and um. I don't know. <laughs> ya lo vamos a preguntar. Okay. Hello. Hola. Bueno, hello. Hoy sí ya. Creo que sí. Pero no tiene que ser personales, pueden ser de cualquiera. Yo, Yo creo que sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Vale. Yo...
Okay, people, welcome back. We don't have more time to, to work, so I'm going to take the last attendance. Okay. So, and we're going to check that work tomorrow. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Alejandra Vanessa. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Anadelmi. Present teacher. Anadelmi Herrera Morales. Present, present teacher. Escucha, teacher. Teacher, no, es, no teacher. escuchamos. Él es, a él le oh, escuchamos, pero él no pues sí escucha. Oh, mi audio. ¿Nos escucha? No. no escucha, teacher. Hola. Ah, give me a no. <risa> Teacher. Ahora sí, ya les escucho. Hola, Ah, es todos usted. lo oíamos, pero usted no nos oía. Sí, sí esta, esta cosa. Bueno, ok. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Presente. Present. Ok, thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Alejandra le contestó también. Sí, 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 gracias. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Good night. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Ok, Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you and good night. Claudia good night, Guadalupe teacher. Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Ivet. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Thank you and good night. Good night. Eh, Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Thank you and good night. See you tomorrow. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Eh, Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, good night, Joana. See you tomorrow. Karina Melissa Estrada. Karina Melissa. Okay, good night. Linda Bye. Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, good night, Mayra. Take care. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Miguel Angel. Okay, Miguel Angel. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay, good present, night. Present Nelson. teacher, me notó. Yes, Miguel Angel. Okay. See you tomorrow. You. Olga Marleni Gomez. She left. Senaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay, Senaida. Good night. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Silvia Enrique Cortez. Present teacher. Good Thank night. you and good night. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Ok, good night. Good night. En Carla Verónica Suria. Present. Ok, good night people, see you tomorrow. Ok, good bye night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ok. Okay, okay, okay. Claudia. Hi, teacher. Okay, ¿qué le puedo ayudar? ¿Hay algo que quisiera que reforcemos? Eh, teacher, eh, ahorita con este tema, el there, el there, there is o there are, es como decir ahí o hay. Hay. Sí. Exacto, hay. Uh -huh. There is, ¿verdad? Que me confunde con la otra que es, no sé si es da. Que hay. Y esta, esta, este, eh, aquí yo puedo seguir con la oración, porque verdad que si yo pongo there is, there is company, digamos, there is company. Eh, 
y de financial service, yo ahí puedo seguir con la oración. ¿O son como oraciones cortas? No. Pero, ¿qué quiere decir cuando dice there is company? Hay una compañía. Oh, ahí ya me confundí, pero es que creo que ahí ya me he confundido yo porque es, es que me confundo con esta, creo yo, pero entonces there is, es hay. Sí, es hay. There is, bueno. there are, es hay. Yo creo que era mi confusión porque él la usaba como cuando se usa el esta, pero es edad. That or this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, ahí, ahí puedo decir, in my company there is an office. There are uh, many, I don't know, computers. I, yeah. um, in my company, there isn't any, uh, ¿qué sé yo? Cafeteria. Okay. Uh, no, no hay ninguna. Bueno, entonces ahí, ¿verdad? Cuando ponemos el there are, después, o sea, ahí ya va, mm, a veces quizás como... Quizás como uno viene acostumbrado cuando va en los ciclos anteriores, en los módulos anteriores, que como en las oraciones ponemos so, yet, complement y, y todo para hacer la oración. En este mm -hmm. caso, si yo digo are, no, después te, tiene que, no va un, necesariamente un verbo, o sea, va un complemento. El verbo es este, to be, there is, there are. Tiene razón. Y de hecho la combinación esa de, de, sería, viene siendo el verbo haber. No, no. Mm, Ay. Mm, ya, 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 ahí está confundida, pero sí. O sea, sí tiene razón. Del pues del there, va el verbo are o el is. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí. Ahora, a ver. No todas las frases que usamos van a ser sujeto, verbo, complemento. Sí, no, sí no. quizás como uno viene con esa, como le digo, estructura. Por Ajá. la cuestión quizás para que nosotros, en el caso, para ir aprendiendo, nos iban guiando con esta forma, en esa estructura, ¿verdad? Para hacer las oraciones. Sí. Sí, Pero... sí, sí. No necesariamente van así siempre. No necesariamente. ¿Verdad? Eh, sí, cuando ya una conversación, pues ya ahí hay. Sí, porque por ejemplo, aquí no tenemos otro verbo que, que para decir el... Usted sabe que en una oración el, el sujeto es el que hace la acción del verbo. Y, y, y aquí no hay, pues, o sea, está diciéndome de algo que existe. Me está describiendo uh -huh, sí. algo que existe, ¿no? Que está, que hay o que no hay. ¿Ya? Sí, sí. Sí, tiene razón. Ahí quizás uh -huh. es cuestión de que como uno tiene que ir como ya en esta etapa, como ya ir viendo todo lo que hemos ido aprendiendo y irlo aplicando a las conversaciones porque ya van incluyéndose varios tiempos. Como ahorita no hemos visto prácticamente, en nosotros hemos estado viendo que y simple present, eh, el, pas, el sí. pasado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, Ahorita uh -huh. se lo hemos estado viendo prácticamente conversation. ¿Verdad? Me imagino que ahí aplicando es lo que hemos estado viendo. Claro. Claro, ¿verdad? Entonces, como... Tenemos que estimular mucho el, el hablar, el hablar, el hablar. Sí, eso es lo que a veces, bueno, en mi caso, así hacemos cuesta porque primero la pronunciación, ¿verdad? O sea que uno, y, a, y otra cosa es el, el miedo, el temor, o la pena, pues, que da a veces, porque a veces uno, uno piensa en, y piensa en español, entonces cuando yo lo estoy traduciendo al inglés, como que se le cruza. Sí, eso poco a poco <risa> se tiene que ir, ir superando, poco a poco. ¿Verdad? 
sí. Bueno, bueno, sí, ya más que todo eso. Y ahorita, este es el tema que tenemos que desarrollar hoy en la... Yo ya hice las primeras cinco este, ejercicios. Uh -huh. Y iba a hacer este, pero igual lo tenía que ver la clase porque todavía no la había comprendido. Porque sí, está quizás similar a esta clase que hemos visto, que es para corregir. Pero aquí eh, hay otra duda, teacher. En, la, en, la, en los ejercicios que hicimos en esta, en esta página, hay... Usted nos dio como varias opciones, ¿verdad? Para poderlo corregir. Digamos, en la segunda que teníamos ahí, él decía, there are one. En el libro. Is... Ajá, en el libro. Sí, sí. En verdad, si lo vemos acá, lo vamos a compartir. Porque ves como ahí cuando uno hace ya los ejercicios en el... En el... En la plataforma, muchas veces no lo toma. O sea, uno a veces o algo, está uno varias veces y no los no toma las las correcciones que uno hace sí, es cierto eso es bien mecánico ahí no, no. por ejemplo en la segunda teacher ahí en the, there are one factors uh, ¿qué significa available? available es disponible available. 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 Uh -huh. Disponible. Vaya, en ese, en esa, en ese ejemplo, teacher, como está el one, ¿verdad? Que es una, dice. Sí. Para mí, porque solo hay que corregir una cosa, lo que hay que corregir es one. Sí, porque dice disponible, ah, pero Dígame. ahí se le elimina, se le pone many o son. Sí. Aquí puede poner muchas cosas o dejarlo así. There are facilities available. Ah. Una, o o las, las cosas que yo le, me mencionaba, ¿no? Ok. Sí, como que sí. tiene varias opciones como para poderle corregir. There are some facilities available. There are many. O ya, una cantidad en particular, en específico, ¿verdad? There are two. Ok. Sí, pues. Vaya, pero ahí ya me quedó claro el tema para poderlo hacer. Vaya, pues. Está bien. Gracias por su tiempo. Bueno, claro, un, un gusto, ¿verdad? Y, y que descanse o sigue, o sigue todavía. <risa> no, y si ya, bueno, solo nos toca trabajar aquí en la conversión del video, subirlo a YouTube. <risa> Sí, ah, todavía usted lo, usted lo hace. Sí. Ah, bueno. Sí. Todavía le pasa. No, no. Sí, bueno, entonces, que, que siga trabajando y que pase linda noche. Muchas gracias, Claudia. ¿verdad? Igualmente, cuídense. Feliz noche. Gracias, igual.